web one was really read only, right? You could use it to gather information um, and to some extent transfer information, but you couldn't really create information on web one. Web two was an evolution of that. Then you could not only gather information, but you could put up, put your own information out into, into the world, right? But you lost control of it. And web three, you can gather information, you can create information and the information you create, such as let's say on a social network or something like that is still yours. You'll be able to own it. And I think that's um, the largest and most significant difference uh, of web three and probably in my view, really the most important. Web3 redefines the internet as it shifts the power really from companies to creators, right? So in, well, if you think about Web2, uh, the evolution of that market really is how it is because the applications could control all of the user data, right? And then they could monetize that data. So think of Facebook or Google um, or Twitter or anything like that. Um, they were able to own the data and then further monetize the data. What Web3 will do, <clears throat> it allows that same dynamic of having the creators be able to put their information out into the world, but then they own that information forever throughout time. So think about that in terms of um, music or art or you know business applications, really. Um, anything that's put out there, um, the original creator should be able to maintain ownership of that information. And I think that's what's really important. And that's what's re going to redefine the internet. At its core, Tron is really about decentralization and accessibility and inclusivity for everyone in the world. Right, so what does that mean and how do we make it happen? Um, accessibility and inclusivity. We make that happen by being low cost, reliable and really fast, right? Not everyone in the world has um, the money to spend on gas fees as they create their projects, right? Those projects need to be created in an environment where, the, where it can be done at the lowest cost possible. Right. And, you know, think about uh, if we think outside of, you know, these well-developed countries, think outside of the U.S. and Europe, but to all the other parts of the world that are using Tron, um, that's incredibly important. And we want to bring that um, accessibility and that inclusivity to everyone around the globe. Right. And in terms of decentralization, you know, that's why we became a DAO. Tron became a DAO um, beginning last July and completed that process in January, right? Because we believe in decentralization. And as part of that, we decentralized um, our own company. Well, it has to be a, a multi-chain, cross-chain environment. And what we're seeing right now is um, a lack of real security in cross-chain applications. I think, um, you know, we're seeing it's nearly 25% of approximately of uh, cross-chain transactions have some type of issue with them. And I think, you know, cross-chain being able to transact across different layer ones is so important that um, those bridges really need to be secure and strong. And without that, I think the growth of Web3 will be much slower than it should be. Uh, secondly, I think that the scalability um, of many chains really needs to increase. Um, if, if you think out um, in terms of global adoption and really for there to be significant uh, commercial adoption, as well as consumer adoption, there really needs to be um, much greater, uh, the throughput of these chains needs to be much greater, needs to be faster, um, and, it, and needs to be more reliable.
right? So when you look at Tron right now, I think we're probably one of the most reliable chains in the world and certainly one of the lowest cost, um, also one of the most secure as well as fastest, right? And that's evidenced by nearly 37, $38 billion of stable coins moving through our network daily. Um, and then lastly, you know, I think getting the first two things right helps the third, which is regulation. Um, and as much as the industry can regulate ourselves, uh, I think the case for external government regulation um, is minimized, right? So if there are less um, thefts, if there are less um, frauds within the Web3 world, um, I think regulation will be somewhat minimal and allow the community to grow and thrive as it should. Web3 matters because it gives ownership to creators. In my view, that's the most important aspect of it. Um, each individual is the owner of their own information from their healthcare information to all the personal information that they put out into the world. They own that information and they can monetize that information. Um, and that is really going to change much, uh, much of the way the internet or how the internet works.